Good day everyone, Sir Francis here. Today we are going to create a LAN cable for our computers within the network. First, we need to identify the tools and materials that we are going to use. The crimping tool. LAN tester. Cable stripper. Two pieces of RJ45 and a UTP cable. Are you ready? Let's begin. The next step is we need to get our UTP cable and crimping tool. The crimping tool has a built-in blade that can cut and strip the cover of the wires. Having a crimping tool is like having a wire cutter and wire stripper at the same time. Just be careful in the use of the blades because it may cause injury. Carefully strip the cover of the wires. Make sure that you do not damage any of the smaller wires found inside it. As this can cause problems in regard to the life of the wire. Damaging the smaller wire or wires will lead to loss of connection. The third step is you need to separate the individual wires and straighten them out. This will make your work a lot easier when you must put them in order. Fourth, put the wires into the correct order. This part can be particularly frustrating as the wires tend to move around from the position you put them in. Be patient and eventually they will remain in position. By the way, I am creating a straight through cable with a T568D wiring. The straight through cable is intended to provide connection on different devices. Meaning, if you will be connecting a desktop or laptop computer via cable in a hub, switch or router, Straight through cable is the one to use. The crossover cable on the other hand is used to connect two of the same kind of devices. The fifth step is to make sure that the length of the wires are not too long. The wires should be roughly half an inch in length. Here's a tip I usually use. I'm using the size of the RJ45 as the guide in providing the correct measurement. You can use the blade of the crimping tool to cut the excess wires of the UTP cable. Sixth, insert the wires into the RJ45 connector. Maintain the wire order from left to right and slowly push them into the RJ45. Make sure that when you do this, the RJ45 tab is facing downward. Double check the wires on the sides and at the back of the RJ45. Be sure that all the wires are hitting the top portion of the connector. If the wires are too short to hit the top, you need to redo the steps again from step 2 to step 6. The seventh step is you need to crimp the wires to the RJ45. Check the order of the wires before crimping. Make sure they are pushed as far as they can go and are seated nicely next to the gold pins at the end. 
push the RJ45 into the printing device. Do the same steps on the other side of the cable. By the way, you can use the portable cable or wire stripper in removing the cover of the UTP cable. The eighth step is you need to use the LAN tester to test for proper continuity. The LEDs per wire must light up at the same time to establish connection. If the LEDs did not light up or if the LEDs did not match the lighting of the wires, then you need to start again from step 2 to step 8 until you establish correct continuity. And lastly, you can now plug in your cable where you need it. If you follow the steps correctly, you should have a perfectly working network cable. And that's it! You can now connect your UTP cable to the LAN port of your laptop or desktop computer. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned a lot. Always remember, at ALE, we keep on going beyond this edition.